Hello everybody and welcome back to Seralim 2. It's me Kay and while we were off camera between episodes I banged out a new sword for John Reigns. We're gonna head back down to floor 10 again and see what we can do. Ooh. Oh my meal bonus will expire after I leave this realm. Another whisper. Who we got this time? Iseros. Well there you are. Welcome to the Baron's Chateau. You can call me Iseros. If you are ever in need of my realm, do not hesitate to call on me. Or if you are in need of help in my realm. Okay, so what do you do? I've seen the harsh conditions of this realm kill many men. Those who die of thirst and exhaustion are the lucky ones. Others are devoured whole by stray pit worms, gored to death by rampaging apuses, or turned to stone by wayward gorgons. What will be your fate? How can I better serve you? Hidden deep beneath these sands are relics of unimaginable power. Unearth them and bring them to me so that we may study them together. Alright. Get out of the way, cactus. Despite painfully hot days, the barrens are excessively cold at night. This wood might be useful to make it through the long evenings around here. This was the area that we first went to in the first episode. It just didn't have Iseros in it at that time. If you could buy an, any slime in any storm, you get an ethereal clutcher. That sounds interesting. We'll have to look into that. I think I can get slimes and storms. All right, you got a stronghold. That servant hunter is the worst thing there, probably. Yeah, they're gonna be casting spells now. Those wolf tingers, so we'll get them next. Boom! What's it cast? Drain mana. No big deal. He didn't have any mana anyway to use. Ah, oh good, that died. I was like, oh crap, that didn't die. Magic suppression, everybody's silence, no big whoop, I'm not a heavy spell casting build right now. Let's get rid of you. Let's see what John Reigns has got now. That's more like it. Attack again. Yes, okay, that's a lot more like it. I kind of like Carnages now. That's got some potential. We're going to pump his attack to stupid high levels and try to sweep with him. Just sweep the whole team every time. If only Chaz had that ability, Chaz would just kill everyone. Jeez. Okay, let's loot this area. Is it possible? There's water to be found in this desert. No, wait, it was actually a treasure chest. Oh, I get those two confused all the time, personally. Dying bottled fairy and a handful of granite. Well, that'll come in handy later. Interesting, you found a cache that's concealed by ancient magic. Allow me to remove its illusory guise for you. Full of granite, a handful of brimstone. Again, 75 favor with these arrows, goddess of illusion. Tartareth rules over witch realm. That's the torture chamber. Satchel of brimstone, thank you very much. Let's be on our way. Goody stone cairns. A handful of brimstone. Just a mirage. Just a mirage. Cash. Oh, level 3 sword. With speed, gain leech on hit, more damage dealt to sword. Um, yeah, that's going on John Reigns. That's better than his base sword. Yeah, I have the choice of attack 53 or attack 53, more speed, leech on hit, and damage dealt to sorcery. Yeah, that's going to be his thing for now. Nice free artifact for John Reigns there. I like it. John Freeman. Ah, Efu Rune. Okay, I don't think we've actually looked at runes yet. They are items that you equip to your character. Oh, we have. Yeah, and they just give you a permanent change in how they work. Uh, creatures with shell have a 30% better chance to dodge attacks. Yeah, that's actually pretty good for me. We don't have any runes for sorcery or chaos yet. There's a lot of different runes. They do a variety of powerful things. Okay, that thing's gotta go. Pitworm Harbinger always needs to die. And yeah, that's a slime right there, I think. So if we we'd collect one of those storms, we could make one of those ethereal clutchers. Might be cool. We'll see what it is. Do I have any of the... I already have its corp. Good. Screw it, then. You all suffer and die. Boom. Oh, yeah, we're just... Plowing right through here. Good stuff. Casting Scourge Death at empty space. I'm probably going to take that off since it's never going to be helpful. 
Hermes doesn't quite get a kill, sadly. That's okay. Michael Golem will slap that mummy down. Yep, there he goes. And bang! Nice. Okay, and let's go ahead and take that spell gem off since it is not doing a damn thing. Get out of here, cactus. Ah, trade that firewood for a handful of crystal and some level 2 gloves. Speed and health, additional spell gem slots, afflict poison when hit. That's kind of nice, but it's not something I really need on anybody right now. Satchel crystal, heavy shield with intelligence, start battle with shell, and more attack. I'm going to equip that to my golem. That is pretty sweet, actually. That was a good find. We're finding some pretty nice artifacts here, thanks to that cooking we did her a few episodes back. It's a game about coming up with as many possible buffs to stack on yourself as you can, so... Anything that helps is a big help. Next mana. More wood to trade. Ooh, we got a bunch of crap here I don't like. Oh, that sucked. Thanks for that, jerk. Get rid of that. Oh, it didn't die. Great. It died. Good. All right, Milky, that Gorgon kind of needs to go. A lot of this stuff really needs to go, but let's get rid of that. Oh, nice. Milky got a double kill. Sweet. Boom. John Reigns takes that thing. Takes that thing and severely injures that. I love Carnages now. He outperformed Milky on that, and that was impressive on its own. All right. This is going a lot better now that we've got uh, our party at an appropriate level for this area. Well, there's the exit. We don't want to leave just yet. I think there's much more to be had here that could be good. We're not getting our ass kicked like we were on the last one. Defense, materials, good. Don't need any of that right now. I'll work on forging some stuff a little bit later. Oh! Treasure! Gain critical on hit. That's not too bad. Oh, you and your creatures drank from the oasis, finally quenching your dry sandy throats. And well to find a source of water in such a harsh environment. 150 favor. Oh, that's nice. You've done well to drink all the water. Jerks. The cash Christmas Breaker. Trait, you ruined Christmas. Enemies take 50% more damage for each other creature of this target's same class fighting outside. This trait does not stack. That is a fascinating thing. That must have been from Christmas. I was too busy to play during that. But it's cool that you can still get the stuff. That's a neat find. I, I didn't know about that. What's this? You fell into the quicksand. Oh, it's a air... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. It looks like a mini-boss fight. Grave Bane White. I'll make quick work of you. You might. Let's see what you got. Okay. Uh, after this creature dies, enemy takes damage equal to 40% of its maximum health. Oh, that's nasty. Okay, you got... Berserk, you got Arcane, the Golem's invisible, and the Gorgon has Taunt. Okay. Well, let's pop the Gorgon. It made it. Shocking. Oh, we'll take that Lich down. Raven Acolyte's just attacking. I can live with that. Mess up that Raven Acolyte then. Oh, you managed to hit an invisible guy. Nice. That's fun. Okay, John Reigns kills that, goes again, kills that, goes again, and kills that, goes again. Mmm, that is fun. Kills that, but I don't think he directly killed it, that was the bat doing it. Oh, murder of crows, that does random damage to everybody. Ow! God. And Chaz finishes off. That wasn't bad at all, John Reigns really took that one. Glad we killed that thing late. 
Satchel crystal. Any spirit, any demigod makes an exalted spirit. Brimstone, amber, granite. Uh, any slime in a caustic Cerberus makes a bile slime. An interesting sounding nature shell. I want to see what that does. What What is primitive incantation real quick here? That grants your creature seven percent more attack for each non-temporary chaos spell gem each of your creatures has equipped. That is useless for me right now. Heirlooms of warding start battle with ward. More resources, health, immune to snare. That might be nice. Attack. Some, uh, good stuff. Good loot. I like all the crap I broke came back magically. That was a good fight. I liked that place. It was lucrative. I still love the music here. This game is just filled with good music. I think they sell the soundtrack, which I highly recommend. E even if you didn't play the game, the soundtrack is worth a purchase, because, oh man, it is classic, like, SNES-era great music. Is that something? No, that's nothing useful. All right, what's over here? Just all these little annoying pillars blocking my sight. That's a chest hiding over there. Come here, treasure chest. Uh, pretty good death shield that I don't really need, though. I'm definitely gonna get some more cooking done, though. I tell you what, get some more artifact gathering. Sorcery shield with brimstone gain, not really important. Ah! Such devotion merits a reward. Come, approach my altar and let us commune. Okay. First, let's, uh, take care of... Holy crap! Oh, everybody is gonna be so slow. So slow. Oh no. So slow. Oh. Everybody's got like one speed now and it's just completely hosed. Oh, that was hateful. Pure hatefulness. Okay, I think I can kill this and keep going. Ah, it wouldn't let me get it. The uh, extra bit damage to him, and it didn't count for it. Smoke bomb. What'd that do? Everybody's blind and slow. Good. I'm glad we alpha striked most of them out of here before it became an issue. Die. Oh. Milky. Milky. Not, not meant for tanking. Okay, what can I kill here quickly and efficiently? You. It doesn't matter anymore. We have no speed to really lose, so who cares? Ah. I think speed is governing some of our physical damage, sadly. There we go. We're done. Let's get out of here. Whew. Thank goodness that one's over with, me. That was a bad one. Too many of the same thing can really mess you up. You can do that, too. You can have more of the, than one of the same creature. You can have six of the same creature if you want. Get some health artifact stuff. That's good. Power gaining battle, flick curse on hit. That's a nice pair of boots, but I'm not really into them. Any trimmer and a macabre masochist makes a Quarnock trimmer. I don't know that from Adam, so... That doesn't do me much good. Uh, Chaz is gonna bust that. That didn't die. <laughs> Cole's going to kill that then, thank you. Ooh, Milky, nice nice throw there. Throwing that shuriken. Okay, John Reigns gets a kill, and we're gonna go after the Carver next. Boom. Let's take on that Golem, yes. That killed it, but I think you have a limit on how many of those you can take, because he's hitting like three people, and then it's like, no, we can't just let you kill the whole team. Or it might be that other things are happening after, like, the attack from uh, Sarah's getting the kill or something. That might be how it works. It's a little confusing. I'll figure it out soon enough. Granite, always good. Always need to make new artifacts for various things. Once we get improved forging done, I'll have some hybrid artifacts I can start making that buff two stats and are really great. Wouldn't mind giving John Range something that's attack and speed. That would be pretty nice as a base artifact. 
Okay, looks like we're done here. Let's go talk to Iseros and get out of here. What do you got for me? How are the sands treating you thus far? I must admit you've adapted to this environment far more quickly than most other humans I've seen. From now on, you can use an alteration spell to come back here. Yep, okay, I know that routine. Five deity points, always welcome. New items. I believe I have something, or rather someone, that can help you fight through the brutal desert environment. It is a creature called the Apis Defender, and I trust that it will serve you well. Apis Defender creature, cool. What can I buy here? Just Apis Defender cores right now. Okay. Not that useful. Is there anything hiding over here? Just crap. Okay. Where was the teleport out? Up here. Okay. Did we check the whole place? Looks like we did. Let's go back to Serlim. I think we're ready to take that boss on. Let's go have, uh, have a meal. I like that cheesy bread real good. Let's just do that again. Two realms worth of work. Alright, and let's head down to the uh, breeder here. I want to see if there's anything fancy I can make from the new recipes I've learned. I might have a storm. I don't remember. Or I might have the ability to summon one. We'll see. What you got going on down here, Natharian? Uh... Hemlock Int is all I can make uh, by default right now. I could experiment around and find something, but that's alright. I like my turret team composition. John Reigns really came into his own and became a badass pretty quick. Let's summon up a couple things, since that's really all that brimstone and stuff is for right now. Uh, let's go ahead and get... Wolper Tingers are kind of fun. A little annoying to use, but they're kind of fun. Troll art. Oh, I do have a storm. Hey, let's summon that slime, too. And we'll get that crazy thing they were talking about. Troll arsonist, too. Uh, brimsmiths are great. I don't have enough resources, though. All right, let's go make that thing, and then we'll go take on the boss, I think. I'm not going to use it just yet, unless it's really got an amazing ability and merits me grinding a little bit. What's that Apis Defender do, anyway? Uh, this creature intercepts attacks on its allies, but when it does, it takes extra damage equal to 10% of its maximum health. If you worked that out right, that would be pretty damn good. It's an automatic, always working taunt. That's kind of nice. So what's an ethereal clutcher? After an enemy dodges an attack, decrease its speed by 50%. That is an interesting creature. I'm going to summon it because I don't care about either of these things. Let's go ahead and make that for later. It's a chaos creature. Interesting. I like that well enough. And boom, we've got an ethereal clutcher. Interesting weird hand demon. And that's all I can do with that. All right, what can we do for artifacts uh, improvements? Definitely want to look into that before we take on Notharian's Nightmare. Phobos is a tough fight. Also, let's smash up some of these artifacts that I don't want. I uh, don't want those boots. Good, we got part of everything on it. That's nice. Uh, don't need that. Good, we got the crystal shard. That's what I wanted out of that. Uh, the gloves, not so great. Like a poisoning. We're getting close to being able to poison things. This life lance needs to go. That old sword's no good, actually. Uh, sorcery shield is useless. And this nature shield is useless to me. Although I do like immune to weak. That's pretty handy. Alright, let's, uh, let's see what we can en enchant first. All right, we've got a few swords that can be enchanted. Cole, what do you have? You just have attack, attack and speed. This one doesn't even have attack. Milky could definitely benefit from that. Plus 16 attack is welcome. Uh, let's get some... Can we do speed? No. Trait, you ruined Christmas. I don't know who I want to ruin Christmas. Probably Chaz. But uh, what can we do? Attack and speed... I'm 
good on all that right now. Let's improve things. Let's boost that. Come on. Okay, fine. There we go. That's a little better. Okay, that's all we can get out of it right now. We boosted some people's attack a little bit. Let's see what I can do for my character's levels. Six unspent points. Okay, we're good on Luminous for now. Uh, I would kind of like... Creature in the stable gain 1% of the experience points each creature. That sounds useful. Let's pick that up. Chance to find a treasure chest after battle. Yes, please. 1% chance of that now. Uh, let's see here. Better shards is always nice. Improved extraction. No. Mission rewards is welcome. Okay, that's all I can do right now. We'll pump up mission rewards a bunch if we get a bunch of uh, stuff for it. Alright, let's go. Let's go after Notharian's Nightmare. I think we can take it. This must be the creature Notharian mentioned. Just as he claimed, his arms are indeed made of some sort of spiked blades. In fact, its entire body seems to be one giant weapon of war. As you study the creature from a safe distance, it suddenly notices your presence. Without giving a second thought, the creature lunges at you to attack. This is Phobos. Phobos is very dangerous. You will understand why very quickly. After this creature takes damage from an attack or spell, all other creatures with this trait attack the enemy who afflicted that damage. Yeah. So we've got a trio of Phoboses here. Well, Phobos and two Blade Dancers. So we need to basically take these Blade Dancers down as fast as possible. Chaz did one in. You can see how this is a problem if you don't kill him quick. Cole is great for this fight because he aggros like mad when anything attacks anybody. So he's, he's just going to throw down. Let's cast Shell on everybody. That should help out. And now they have damage, or a uh, chance to dodge because of that rune I equipped earlier. Alright, Milky. Do you have spells? No. Okay, so you're gonna go after this slightly wounded Blade Dancer. You messed him up good. That was nice. You're gonna absorb that with shell and dodging. Good. Alright, Sarah's going after it. It's heavily wounded. We have enough heavy hitters that I think we're gonna be fine here taking this stuff down in no time. This was an easier boss fight than I had anticipated, and I would rather it be a lot easier than expected than a lot harder than expected. But I was leveled for it, and everybody was ready for it, so this is good. And without his buddies, he's nothing. Let's just tear him up. There we go. Boom, and there's some lovely level ups. Always welcome. Good progress on proof forging. Upon death, Phobos' bladed head crystallizes into a magnificent glowing orb. And we have the blue nether orb now. That's another one out of the way. Strong alpha. A Yara rune. Creature with splash. Deal 50% more damage with attacks. I would love to, love to give John Rain splash. Also, a pandemonium token. That'll come in handy later. A basic sword. We don't care about. Glowing shard. That's handy. Cloth scraps. Let me get new outfits. Uh, any sphinx in an Nvidia sin. That's the way it's meant to be played. Makes a Humanitas Sanctus. Let's flick Scorn when hit. Defense. Gain Barrier on hit. Some pretty good treasure to be had right there. Thanks. Let's go talk to Notharian. He, I believe, has a spell gem for us. Hopefully it's something great. I could really use some good spells. That's really the only reason I haven't been heavy on uh, spellcaster characters like Surge, because I just don't have great spells to cast. So it's done then. That wicked creature is no more. You have my thanks and undying loyalty, King Shaitel. I am sure you and your people will be safer thanks to your efforts. Oh, and I have even more good news for you. I managed to find the spell gem I was searching for earlier. I'd like you to have it. I know it's not much in the way of compensation for your troubles, but hopefully you'll find use for it. Soothing Breeze. Oh my god! That is awesome! Target recovers 100% mana. Property 69% chance to refund mana. Yes. All of my yes. Oh. Suddenly your vision begins to blur. You hear a series of faint whispers speaking to you from some faraway location. It's Vertrag again, yeah. It's been a while since we last spoke, dear friend. I'm very pleased to see that you're still in good health and spirit. 
What's this? You seem to have found not one, not two, but three nether orbs in your possession. Dear Shaytel, how did you find such treasures? These relics can be used to grant you the power of the gods themselves. With these orbs, you may very well stand a chance against misery. Continue to seek out additional nether orbs. I will try to help you procure a few of them as well. With a little luck and a ton of dedication, you'll be ready to take the fight to misery in no time at all. I must be going now. Farewell, Shaytel, and good luck on your quest to find the nether orbs. I'll speak to you again very soon. And, of course, I passed out again. Notharian is concerned. Do you say a god spoke to you just now? That's spectacular. Before I came to Zirlem, I heard the stories about their king who could communicate with the gods. I'm astonished to hear that those rumors turned out to be truths. You must return to Damios and tell him about this encounter immediately. And I will do so. Uh, but first, I'm going to equip that... that... Well, there's not really much point. I don't have spellcasters yet. But when I do... Oh, man. I am going to get geared up with a guy who can replenish mana on people, and it's gonna be good. Mmm! That was an amazing spell. I think that's new to the expansion. Also, the refund mana and cast on death are definitely new to the expansion. I don't remember those at all. So, Vertrag spoke to you again. That's most remarkable indeed. You must feel quite fortunate to be blessed by the gods. As far as I know, no other human or creatures had the opportunity to communicate with them directly. So what did Vertrag wish to speak with you about? Hmm, so Eberron's suspicions were correct. We need to find more nether orbs for you. I perhaps know of a place where you might find one. It's located in an old abandoned wizard's tower. Legends say that the wizard was one of the mightiest in the land, but ultimately fell to his own failed experiment. I do not know what dangers await you in that tower, King Shaytel, but it is our best hope to find another nether orb. I bid you good luck. Oh, as a reminder, make, make sure you're still conducting additional construction rituals. The more robust our castle, the better the chance we have to stand against misery. Yup. In fact, let's begin the merchant district, which will get me... People who sell things. Oh my god, that will be immensely helpful. Don't really have the resources to do much else. So we're going to head down to Realm 12 next. The next boss is on Depth 15. I will see you all next time when we get exploring. And hopefully we find some more spell gems to make use of that cool one we just found. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye-bye for now.